you're learning what you do and do not want for yourself. You're learning and you're believing you are a powerful manifester. I feel like, Taurus, you didn't believe that you can create the life of your desires before. You felt like it was just fate was going to happen to you. And now you are realizing that you can create your destiny. You don't have to be a victim of fate. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. Taurus, come on in here. Let's find out what spirit needs you to know for your May 2024. All right, Taurus, let's go. Let's get into the messages that spirit needs you to know for the month ahead, May 2024. I hope all is well with you and you have been having a beautiful April. You survived Mercury retrograde. You survived eclipse season and you are here today and I'm grateful for you to join me. All right, spirit, what does Taurus need to know? Do tell. One more spirit. Mm -hmm. Some Scorpio showing up in your reading with the death card. <clears throat> there is absolutely a transformation for you, Taurus. You're having different insights for the life you want to live. A change, a new beginning, a transformation, a new perspective on what you're, you want your life to look like. Manifesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Taurus, if you have Virgo or Scorpio in your chart, that is showing up here for you. So, this is definitely a transformation. You you are intentionally creating the life of your desire with this Magician and the Page of Wands. Having a change of direction, a change of perspective on what you want for yourself and, and how you want to live your life, Taurus. I'm 
also feeling like you're revisiting something from your past that you've kind of gotten away from, but you're realizing that new perspective that that time of your life was really a great time. It was beautiful to you. It was so if I feel like you're revisiting something you've already done uh, because this isn't working. You, you're, you want a change of pace, Taurus. Where is this at? <sighs> Reconnecting with, with a part of you that was successful and more joyful is what I'm feeling. Yeah, definitely a new perspective on how you want to live your life. Queen of Swords showing up. Ten of Swords, the old way of doing things is no longer serving you. The Magician, this, this is your energy. This is your current energy. It's either happening now and you can feel it. Or the May 2024, it's you're coming into your magician's energy. You're coming into your power. You're you're coming into manifesting deeply and seriously manifesting the life of your desires with the page of wands showing up as well for you, Taurus. You're learning what you do and do not want for yourself. You're learning and you're believing you are a powerful manifester. I feel like, Taurus, you didn't believe that you can create the life of your desires before. You felt like it was just fate was going to happen to you. And now you are realizing that you can create your destiny. You don't have to be a victim of fate. That's what I'm feeling with that. And and that way of thinking is coming to an end for you with this Ten of Swords. You, it feels like, I have to go back to this. It feels like with this Ten of Swords, you, you felt like you've lost yourself on the way. As you go from month to month and year to year, you feel like you've lost yourself. And with this Six of Cups... I feel like you're going back to a part of yourself, a time when you were more content, a time when things seemed to always just work in your favor, like you had amazing luck. But what I'm also feeling is at that time in your past, you believed more in your own power to create the life that you desired. So with this death card, again, you are changing your mind. The Hanged Man and the Death Card. You are changing the way you think. The old way of thinking. This this way of thinking you've currently been in. This energy for quite some time. You are changing that. With this Hanged Man. You have a new perspective on an old you. You have a new perspective on an old you. That's the best way I can say that. So going back to... Who you were a time ago that was successful and more joyous and more content. You see that now. For whatever reason, you you got out of that energy. Something happened in your life that, that allowed you to lose the belief in that you can create the life of your desire. And so the hanged man and the uh, queen of swords showing up, you are above the fray now. You are understanding. I can go back to that. That worked for me, right? And then we have the Nine of Cups going back to that. That is, that was a time of strength and power for you. And I feel like for you, Taurus, at that time, you were absolutely living your authentic self. But there was something that, an event that happened in your life that, that kind of took you down and it knocked you off of off of your power pedestal, if you will, because that time of your life, you were very content. 
you were fulfilled, you were extremely joyous, you had such a bright uh, personality and super charismatic and very magnetic. And then whatever that was, it knocked you down a notch and you were extremely strong at that time. But what I'm feeling is you're coming back into that. You realize you took a look back at, you just like took a look over your life over the years, right? Maybe even the past decade. And you said, whoa, that was a time when it was really, I was popping, right? I was on one all the time and it really worked in my favor, right? That's, that's what I'm getting. And so when you got that new perspective and said, I'm going back into that energy because I was strong, I was authentic, I was, I was living my best life. I'm not sure what happened, but whatever happened to you, Taurus, you went into hermit mode. You went into hermit mode, and now that you've assessed yourself, assessed your life, Taurus, you did some soul searching, some introspection, taking a look back down memory lane. You took a look back down the memory lane with this Six of Cups, and you said, that's the, that's the person I am. That's who I am authentically. That is where I was strong and content, right? So you've been in hermit mode for quite some time. And what I have clarifying this hermit card is the sun. We have the sun clarifying the hermit card. And you know what that tells me, Taurus? That is telling me there is nothing stopping you. You are coming back into full energy, full vitality, Success is attracted to you, Taurus. You are attracting success in every area of your life, whether it's financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, or physically. This is your yes card. This is yes to you coming back to you, who you were, seeing things clearly, letting the old uh, things fall away, that event that happened to you, that put you in hermit mode, you are coming out of that hermit mode, coming back into your successful life, coming back into your power, coming back into creating the life of your desire, right? With the magician and the page of wands, right? There's a transition that's happening for you because you decided to take a new look, Take a new look at how your life has been going and what's not working for you. Realizing what did work. Okay, Taurus, this is amazing to step back into your power, to take your power back. You are taking back what belongs to you and that is your power. It is your right to be who you've always, who you've always been meant to be. It is your right to stand in your own power. It is your right to be a resource to yourself with confidence and courage and strength, right? Control. You have the control. You are a, you, the success and abundance that is attracted to you right now. It's amazing. You are taking action to take back your power from that situation. You let the situation overtake you, and so you went into hermit mode for quite some time. I feel like this has been more than a year. This time is coming. It's been more than a year that you've been in hermit mode. I'm taking this card because I saw it. Um, so I want that for you. It was meant to see. <coughs> What else, Spirit? What other messages do we have for our tenacious Taurus who doesn't back down, who doesn't give up, but just takes a break sometimes? And now your break is over, Taurus. It's time to go to work. Let's go to work. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to your authentic self. All right. Bounteous, generously given relationships coming together. 
There is so much bountifulness in your life. May 2024. Things are coming together for you. Whatever you felt like you were lacking, whatever you felt like you were not capable of doing, it's all coming together for you, Taurus. The right relationships are attracted to you, whether they're business, excuse me, business or platonic or even romantic, right relationships, right people are, are being attracted to you and the universe is generously giving you the desires of your heart is what I'm feeling. Then we have the mist. Trust your inner compass. Be led from within. Absolutely. You've taken that time. You've been in solitude. You've had hermit mode going on for quite some time. And now spirit is saying, trust the information you've received. Trust the enlightenment you've received from your soul's wisdom, right? Be led from within, Taurus. That inner compass will not steer you wrong. And then we have making waves. Momentum is building. It's your it's your time achievement. Spirit is so intentional. Momentum is building. It's your time achievement. You are achieving the desires of your heart. It's time for you to come out of hermit mode. Step back into your power. Step back into your authenticity, your highest self. You step back into your truth, who you truly are. You have been building this momentum for quite some time. Learning from your soul's wisdom, Taurus. It's your time to shine. It's your time to move. You will achieve the desires of your heart. You will have your sun moment that will last for years to come from this day forward. The vitality, the success Everything you are and everything you've ever desired to be. It's your time, Taurus. I feel like I need one more spirit. One more for our beautiful Taurus, please. <clears throat> this is an amazing, an amazing step forward for you, Taurus. I'm super excited for you. Um, I think that what I'm feeling is what you might have been feeling this last week like something's happening something is shifting and you're absolutely right spirit is confirming something has shifted for you power over difficulty reclaiming your power come on spirit oh i just love 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 i love tarot can you tell i love oracle can you tell power over difficulty reclaiming your power Taurus, oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. I love this for you, Taurus. This is spirit just confirming. It's your time to shine. You reclaim your power. You come out of hermit mode and come back into exactly who you were meant to be. You are changing. You are transforming yourself. The, the <clears throat> low vibrations you had from that event that knocked you down a peg or two, that conflict is over. The change is happening now for you. It's happening now. The freedom where you've been locked away, you are being liberated. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Taurus. I love this for you. Reclaiming your power with the strength card, with the, <clears throat> excuse me, with the queen of swords, with the magician and the death card reclaiming your power. This is final confirmation. This is the final countdown. Get ready, Taurus. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Spirit is confirming exactly, exactly what's happening. And I'm so grateful that I was available and open to delivering this message to you, Taurus. I hope this has resonated with you. You made it to the end of the video. Go ahead and type in the comments, reclaiming my power, reclaiming my power. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you supreme love, light, and abundance. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.